Gentlemen, November 180, Bravo, Bravo, with it. November 180, Bravo, Bravo, good afternoon to you. Report your all Part 3 of the Beginner's Guide to Explain 10 is around about uh, installing scenery. So we'll go straight to explain.org and download KSMF Sacramento International Airport. It's uh, not a huge airport, but it's a very nice airport. Here we have it now, and there are a number of images for it. Unfortunately, most of these images were taken at either dusk or night time, so you can't really see what it's like in daylight, but that's okay. It's a nice little airport in there. Uh, I downloaded it and installed it. So <clears throat> all we need to do, obviously, is press the uh, big green button that says download, and it will download in uh, no time at all. I think it took a couple of seconds to download. There you go. It's downloaded. So now we need to open it up. So right-click on the uh, icon there down on the left-hand side, open, and WinRAR will open with the folder inside. Just get rid of the dialog box there. And here you can see it. Now we need to move that folder into our custom scenery folder. Here's my custom scenery folder right now. So I just need to find some white space so I can drag the folder over. So just move that to the right. Click on the folder, drag it over, and bang, it's installed. And you can see it highlighted there, uh, Sacramento KSM. F. What we need to do now is go to the scenery ini folder, scenery ini file, which is inside our custom scenery folder. Here's mine. It's really quite large. Uh, and the reason why I put it up is to show you that this can get really quite big, but also that you'll notice it's in alphabetical order. You have to do that manually. <laughs> place things in the right order because when it installs it will just put KSMF right up at the top uh, and whilst that's not too much of a problem it's nice if you can keep all of your American airports together all the UK airports together etc etc anyway I've moved it in here we know it's in there but all we have to do now is run explain once just to make sure that it's actually in. So we'll just load up X-Plane. There you can see it has installed the uh, airport. So we now know that that's right. And because we've run X-Plane once, the scenery, the scenery ini file has been rewritten with KSMF up at the top. So you shut it down and then you open it up. You open up the scenery ini file in your custom scenery folder. Okay, so I'm just moving to it here. There you can see it highlighted, and there, there it is. And right up at the top, you'll see Sacramento KSM, KSMF. I've highlighted it. Press Control C to copy, then delete, and then scroll down to where your American airports are in the alphabet, which will be K. So here we are. I'm going to create a little bit of space just by clicking there and hitting return. As you'll see any moment now, there we go. And then control V and that's pasted that into that part of the scenery in a file. Now we can close it, save it. And now we reopen x -Plane and have a look and make sure that the airport is now showing correctly. So it's in there, we know it's installed. We sorted it out in the scenery in a file and here it is all nicely loaded up. Sacramento KSMF. Um, in reality, it took probably less than three minutes to do the whole process, including downloading it. Um, this video is actually four minutes and 40 seconds, but that's because I'm showing you around the airport now and I've shown you other things. But in actuality, it took me around about three minutes to download, install, and check that it was all working. Just zooming into the city there. Uh, I've got my buildings on so you can see uh, Sacramento and the uh, city beyond. Very nice. So that's it. Takes no time at all. It is really straightforward. I suppose one of the most important things is the um, ordering of all of those files within the, within the scenery any file. And I put the graphic in here so you can see exactly where you're supposed to do that and how you're supposed to do that. Uh, and as you can see on the left hand side, uh, you've got the scenery any packs 
file, which is in the custom scenery folder, then in the middle, the graphic, which states what order things go in, so it's airports, overlays, trees, lines, meshes, and photo sceneries. I hope this uh, tutorial has been useful, and we'll see you soon. Cheerio!